This morning, governments and businesses are considering a way for people to prove they've been vaccinated against COVID-19. They're called vaccine passports, and it could determine who can travel, stay at a hotel, or even visit a bar. Now, Israel's already using them, and the European Union just proposed them. The U.S., we're still thinking about it. Roxana Sabiri is in London with more on the story. Good morning to you, Roxana. Here's a question. What are the pros and the cons of this idea? Good morning, Gail. Well, supporters say it could help lift lockdowns in cities like London. You get a shot, you get a digital pass on your phone, and then you can enter restaurants and pubs. But critics warn of the potential pitfalls over privacy and more. <laughs> Israelis must now scan in to get in to gyms, hotels, even concerts like this. It is a all set in the telephone. It's very convenient. For more than three million Israelis and counting, this is the ticket back to some kind of normalcy. Finally, all the way in the car, I sank back to life, back to reality. <laughs> <laughs> the government-issued Green Pass shows personal details and proves they've had two doses of a COVID-19 vaccine. <laughs> now countries across Europe and beyond are considering similar so-called vaccine passports or immunity certificates to inject life back into a flagging tourism industry and revive businesses and hospitality, like pubs. The UK is studying whether to introduce vaccine certificates, raising the possibility that Brits could soon need a passport for a pint. Yep, all good. We haven't had stuff like this before. We've never thought in terms of having something that you have to show to go to uh, a, you know, a pub or a theatre. Uh, and, and, and so there are deep and complex issues that we need to explore. Issues like potential discrimination against people who don't want a shot, along with those who can't get one for medical reasons or because there's not enough supply. So these people won't be to participate in life, in public life, in social life, in economic life, in the same way as their counterparts who have been vaccinated. And that's Claire Wenham from the London School of Economics says data privacy is another concern. Is it going to be something that's, that's digital and tracks you? And that obviously opens a whole different range of conversations about, uh, you know, security of your data, for example. So government shouldn't rush it? Government shouldn't rush it. I think it's a Pandora's box and I think it's a, a slippery slope into, you know, having life being governed by your health status. But as governments debate immunity certificates, businesses are pushing ahead. Some cruises and airlines, for instance, say they'll require proof of inoculation to board. So while these passes are raising tricky ethical questions, you may need one to travel as early as this year. The WHO tells CBS News it opposes requiring vaccines for travel as long as the global supply is limited and their ability to stop the spread of the virus is not yet clear. Tony? All right, Roxana Saberi in London for us. Roxana, thank you very much. Uh, you know, I not, love this idea. I love it, too. I love not everything idea. is a slippery slope. Sometimes no. you're taking one step we, forward, and that's all. We get tracked digitally all the time now for all sorts of things. I have no problem. Yeah, I this. also find, guys, the honor system doesn't work here. It doesn't. No. And normally, if you don't get a vaccine, it doesn't affect me or you. Yeah. It normally just affects you alone. But that's now, right. Whether you get this vaccine could affect a lot of people. Everybody in and, the room. And if you have a medical Please, condition that prevents that you from passport. getting vaccinated, if you have an allergy, I'm sure that can be worked out yeah. and it can be marked on your passport. Yep. All right. Well, no one's asked us, but we, we approve. But we're unanimous. Yeah, we're unanimous. <laughs> and where'd you get your PhD? Same place I did? Yes. Yeah, right, exactly. Yes. <laughs>